All right, Chris, let's start off with the bass drum. Sure thing. So, I mean, the first thing about drums in particular is, is creating a good relationship with the drummer and the musicians to get the tuning right. So the sound from the source is the most important Definitely. aspect of, of the instrument. So the first thing you'd want to do is obviously check the bass drum, check the tuning, and then with the front of the kit, um, with this particular drum kit, we're using a, t a typical classic setup with a, a Beta 91 inside and a Beta 52 on the outside. The Beta 91 gives you a more fast, transient uh, sort of click attack, so to speak, inside, and the Beta 52 with a bigger diaphragm will give you a lot more low end and a lot more solid punch. And then you can blend the two channels together to get the sound that you want. Sometimes you'll only use one of them. It's entirely up to you and of course the sound system you're using. And so one of the things you, that you can experiment with as well with the two different kick drum mics, inside we have the uh, uh, SM91, the Beta 91, and on the outside we have the Beta 52. When you push the, the 52 in and aim it up towards the attack point, you get a bit more attack. If you're, using, if you're doing, using it in arenas or large ambient environments, you get a little bit more attack to the sound. But if you know more a uh, friendly acoustic environment, you can move it out, you get a lot more, you'll get a bit more bass, a bit more round and low end as well. When you're having it in the port, depending on how hard the drummer plays, occasionally you might get a bit of wind burst. You might, so just be a little aware of that. Just move it in and out, see how you feel. Combining the 91 and the 52 with your channels, you'll come up with a, a good sounding bass drum. So, there we go. So we'll push that in, that gives you more, more attack. And pull it out, Give you a little bit more low end. There you go.